Mark McCluskey is a Missouri senatorial candidate who uses Second Amendment rights to defend his property and was prosecuted for it by another Soros-funded district attorney. There he is with his wife right there during the Black Lives Matter riots. So, Mark, you see the same case. I mean, it's on video. It's clear to everybody with a brain, but these DAs go after you. What do you think the agenda is here? Well, the agenda is to create a total sense of lawlessness, to make the population afraid, to make you hesitate to defend yourself, to think, if I, if I take up my arms, if I exercise my Second Amendment right to defend myself, am I the one that's going to go to jail? And all of these tactics are designed to frighten the individual and to uh, deter real, you know, uh, uh, response, you know, real resolve to, to fight back against the mob. Th this government likes the mob. I mean, from protests in front of the Supreme Court and in front of the Supreme Court justices' homes to Chuck Schumer standing on the Supreme Court steps threatening justices, having Kamala Harris bailing people out of jail so they can go out and riot again. This is a government that actually likes lawlessness, that likes crime, that likes to have the people afraid, because out of chaos comes tyranny, and that's their end game. And so you believe they don't want individuals to be individuals and think and act for themselves. You think they like the mob, they can control the mob and incite the mob and get the mob to do whatever dirty thing they want to have done. Well, absolutely. And, you know, if, if, if you can't do it by legislation and you can't do it by law, do it by intimidation. And that's exactly what was happening. And, you know, when, when uh, you think back about it, it's been two years and a week now since what happened to my wife and I. And we were really the first people in the country that just stood up and said, no, if it comes our direction, we're not going to take it laying down. We're going to say, whose streets? Our streets. It's a private neighborhood, private house. They have no right to come in there. The moment they broke down that gate and charged our house, any pretense of peaceful protest was gone. But, you know, throughout this country, there is still this, this war on the police. There is still this lawlessness and lack of respect for law and order. And it, 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 it uh, is insidious, and it just, it, it's taking over every city, and it makes people afraid. I mean, I live in the city of St. Louis, which, you know, year after year is a murder capital of the world, and our George Soros-funded prosecutor chooses not to prosecute anything except law-abiding citizens, for example, my wife and myself. Yeah, I mean, it's a joke. If you're not going to be able to defend yourself and your police aren't going to be able to protect you because they've been defunded and maligned, what's going to happen? Like you said, total and, and utter chaos. And, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you think about it for two seconds, you know that when you're in a dire situation, when somebody is threatening your life, there's no time to call a policeman. If you, can, if you can't defend yourself, you're absolutely defenseless. It's a matter of life and death. Thank you very much, Mr. McCluskey, Absolutely. running for Senate in the state of Missouri. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.